Lockheed Martin's C-130J Hercules-derived LM-100J commercial freighter made its debut at the Paris Air Show this year, with the first flight taking place less than a month earlier. Lockheed has previously offered a civil version of the Hercules called the L-100, but production ended in 1992. Many of those aircraft are still in operation today. The LM-100J is a civilian version of the basic C-130J military aircraft. Uh, but what it's going to be is uh, certified for the FAA, so it'll have full type certification that is not necessarily required for the military versions. Some of the main differences you'll see are in the cargo compartment. Uh, there's some requirements for civilians that require fireproof panels and smoke protection and all that are not required in military aircraft. And one of the other big differences in the front of the airplane is the software and the avionics on the airplane. This is the most advanced avionics we put in a C-130 today, uh, and it's fully CNS ATM compliant. And they can fly in any airspace anywhere in the world. The LM-100J uh, does not have a lot of the military systems that are on the C-130J. Defensive systems, um, military radios, and that sort of thing, they're not on this airplane. So that also helps save weight for the commercial customers. One of the main advantages of the LM-100J is that most of the components on the airplane are the same ones we have on the C-130s. They're common components. A couple things that does. One, even though this airplane only has 28 hours on it, it has about 1.5 million flight hours on other C-130J variants behind it. So even though it only has, it had very few flight hours on it, when we brought it and flew it here across the ocean, we weren't concerned at all that we were going to have any issues because we know that those are proven systems on military C-130s. Uh, the other thing that provides is we have an, an active production line as well as worldwide distribution for parts and maintenance for C-130s that the, the commercial customers can take advantage of. The multi-purpose LM-100J is expected to complete a variety of delivery missions, including bulk and oversized cargo. It can also be used on shorter unprepared airfields without ground support equipment. Primarily this airplane is used to move uh, cargo into and out of austere locations. Uh, that's places that have either very short runways or don't have runways at all. We're talking landing on gravel, landing on ice, or landing on dirt somewhere. Um, anytime you get to where you can use a landing area that's 5,000 feet or less anywhere in the world, you really exponentially increase the amount of places that an airplane can go. The flight test program is underway and is expected to take about one year. The uh, flight test program has really just begun. Uh, for the most part, this airplane had its first flight on May 25th, so here we are about two and a half weeks later flying the airplane here to the Paris Air Show. And we're actually doing flight tests on our flights to and from here at Paris. So we get back, this airplane and its sister airplane, which is due to fly in about two weeks, will both start into heavy flight testing. Uh, we'll do uh, company flight tests and then immediately start into FAA flight tests uh, to certify the airplane. All we're doing for this airplane is a type design update. It means the military C-130s were certified by the FAA back in 1998 when they first came out. So what we're doing is anything that's changed or anything that's new since 1998 to now is what we need to certify with the FAA. So that's what's going to make this certification timeline very short. The LM-100J, just like the C-130J, is, is, is a pilot's airplane, and it's designed that way. Uh, it does not use fly-by-wire flight control, so the pilot can feel everything that's going on with the airplane. It allows the pilot, who knows what he's doing with the airplane, to max perform it and really fly the airplane to the edge of all the envelopes. It's really fun to fly. Lockheed Martin currently has five orders and 20 letters of intent for the aircraft.